Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. A couple of weeks ago I shared a video on the DIY 599PA500 amplifier in the field with the ICOM IC705. So many of you were interested in the Chameleon Impos 2.0 antenna setup that I thought I'd make this short video to show you how that configuration goes together. So, short video, win link session, MPAS 2.0 configuration, and links to the full videos for added context. If you stick with me, I'll tell you all about it. So let's start off by talking about the antenna configuration. The antenna was set up on the Chameleon Spike. Above the spike was the counterpoise wires. Above the counterpoise wires was the Chameleon Hybrid Micro. Above that was the Chameleon Mill EXT, that's the extension 2.0. Above that, I had an 80 meter coil from Super Antenna, their MC80 coil. And above that, I had the Chameleon Mill Whip 2.0. The radio configuration was the ICOM IC705 with the Microsoft Surface Go 2 that was running WinLink Express for the emails we'll send out shortly. The ICOM IC705 was backed up by the PA500 amplifier from DIY599. Powering my station was the PowerFilm Solar FM16 6000 LT that's from the Lightweight series. I had two of them set up on that day, which was completely overkill for the station. Still, they supplied enough energy to keep the lithium iron phosphate 20 amp hour DIY pack I built topped up for the entire excursion. Finally, the Buddy Pole Power Mini was used to interface between the panels and the battery and supply the necessary Anderson Power Pole outputs. Now this is probably unclear if you haven't watched my PA500 video yet, but this amplifier has a built-in antenna tuner. The tuner is completely automated and a perfect match for any broadband antenna, especially the Chameleon MPAS 2.0. Now I wanted to work 80 meters on this day. 80 and 60 meters actually would have been ideal. So I set up the counterpoise wires, I set up the MPAS, but I made one modification to it, and that was adding the Super Antenna MC80 coil between the Mill Extension 2.0 and the Mill Whip 2.0. Now before we go any further, I have to explain why we use broadband antennas like the Chameleon MPAS 2.0. Now, primarily, this antenna is extremely easy to deploy. It's also extremely fast to set up. Now, in the weekend this video footage was taken, my goal was to work wind link on 80 meters. Now, the other options would have been 160 meters with 60 meters as a fallback band. Considering it was also a contest weekend, I didn't know which one of those bands I'd be able to utilize. Now in practical terms, the MPAS 2.0 is a random wire in-fed antenna. So adding the MC80 coil extended the electrical length of the antenna, making it more efficient on the lower bands. Now naturally I could have used a wire antenna for NVIS or even a resonant antenna, but none of which would have been easier or faster to set up than this. This brings me to the last feature or reason I love these broadband antennas. I'm not trying to win a contest, I'm trying to initiate regional communications without actually knowing which of those tactical bands are going to be accessible to me. Now, a broadband antenna sacrifices a bit of efficiency in exchange for convenience. Now certainly, if I were trying to win a contest on the lower bands and I could choose the band I wanted to work on, I would probably choose a resonant antenna. For emergency communications and preparedness, the broadband antenna is just fine. 
So I've seen a lot of inexperienced operators on YouTube telling us how difficult it is to get into a Winlink gateway. Now, one of the ways around this is, of course, to use gateways within your own region. I prefer gateways outside of the local region, for example, the city or town, but gateways or other stations for peer-to-peer -peer connections, which are within NVIS range. Right now, I'm using Winlink on 80 meters to send a position report to the network. Now, because we're not trying to connect to a station on the other side of the planet, there are very few losses between my station and the gateway. This is where a broadband antenna shines. Now let's use the MPAS 2.0 to send and receive messages over 80 meters to Oscar Hotel 6, India Juliet. So now I have a very good connection between Oscar Hotel 6, India Juliet and my station on the island of Hailuoto. Again, there's about 250 kilometers between our stations. Now the entire session took about 45 seconds and there was a ton of emails to download as well as to send out. The signal to noise ratios you see at the bottom left of the screen are from Urir, Oscar Hotel, 6 India Juliet. These were the signal to noise ratios from my station to his using the MPOS 2.0 for these Winlink sessions throughout the day. Bottom line, we really need to use the right tools for the job. Tools which make it easier and faster for us to deploy and get the job we're intending to do done. Now I've shown you how I use my Chameleon Impost 2.0 in the field with Winlink. Please leave me a comment to let me know how you use yours. Alright guys, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.